Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud, which you can go and download through the Play Store. This application is a one-stop solution for all the students who are preparing for government exams. This application is valid just for the Android users. Once you have downloaded the application, you can go and log in through your Gmail ID. And once you have logged in, you will be moved on to this page where you can see the various courses that are offered by us. To avail this course, you can use a code that is CRACK10 to get an additional 10% discount on the purchase you make. If we talk about the course, why this course is so important, how you will be benefiting through this course. If you see, we provide current affairs on the daily basis. On weekly basis as well as monthly basis on daily basis we will be providing you with pdfs of the content of that particular day apart from this you will be getting a quiz on your application that will be of 20 questions quiz on daily basis that will help you in boosting your preparation apart from that on weekly you will be getting a 50 questions quiz for your preparation as well as if you see you will also get a pdf that will contain all the important compiled news current affairs of that particular week and similarly for monthly you will be getting a top 100 questions pdf of that whole month that is very important pdf and will be covering the most important news of that particular month all right apart from this we also cover banking awareness all the banking aspirants those who are preparing for bank exams will absolutely love our course because we cover almost 99.99 percent of the syllabus of your bank exams here you will see we will also provide with quizzes as well as the pdfs o apart from this if you see the topic wise for example there are multiple questions that are related to arbitrary important days who won which event who was awarded with which award so all these topics that are related to your gs also or gk such as apps and web portals these are the current affairs that are important days your books and authors the new applications that were launched new government schemes that were launched by the government or your international affairs or your national affairs all these topics there are 20 such topics of which we are providing the pdf as well as we teach on youtube where you can go and check our channel and you will be surprised that the content that we are providing is absolutely amazing. All right. So this will be helping you to boost your preparation in the long term. This YouTube channel, you can go and subscribe to our channel. That is your affairs cloud that will help you for your revision purpose. Also, apart from this, we cover the state current affairs. Also here you can see the current affairs and all these content that we provide you that are bilingual that means we provide you in english as well as both in hindi also all right so all the students who are from the hindi language will also be benefited through our course also friends you can purchase our course for two years all right also for one year if the students have exam or they are planning for the long term and they want to study for two years and they are expecting to give exam after one year then they can opt for two years as well as if the student is planning to give exam next year then they can go for the one year course also so these are the two types of courses that are available by us in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas 10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas 10 also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677-333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue. So friends, in today's video, we will be discussing important current affairs of 28th of May. The session will be very important, so pay attention till the end. As well as friends, if you are not making notes, I'll suggest you all to make notes. Making notes is a very good habit and it will help you in the long term. So let's start. The first thing that we are talking about is India is planning to develop 10 hydro plants to utilize the water treaty with Pakistan. If you remember, India signed a water treaty with Pakistan that was your Indus water treaty and this was signed in the 19. 60. So coming back, India is working on to build 10 hydro projects with a total capacity of 6.8 gigawatts of energy in the states of Himachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir. Alright, NP 
एच पी सी दैट वॉज फॉर्मली नोन एज नेशनल हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर कॉरपोरेशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड हैज अंडरटेकन दिस प्रोजेक्ट टू मेक दीज टेन हाइड्रो प्लांट्स ऑल राइट द एस्टिमेटेड कॉस्ट इज अराउंड रुपीज सिक्सटी एट थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज आई रिपीट which is the organization that is developing it it is your nhpc limited and the amount expected to be spent on this project is around 68000 crore rupees all right and the location where these 10 hydro power projects will be developed are jammu and kashmir and himachal pradesh and they will be providing around 6.8 gigawatts of energy apart from this we just saw that we are developing this in line with the 1960 in this water treaty with pakistan what was your in this water treaty if we are talking about this it is a water distribution treaty that was between india and pakistan this was signed in the year 1960 to use the water that is available in the in this river so if asked that in this water treaty is related to which river as the name suggests it is related to river in this All right. This treaty sets out the mechanism for the cooperation and information exchange between the two countries regarding the use of the six rivers. And these six rivers are Bias, Ravi, Satluj, Indus, Chenab, and Jhelum. Out of these, also remember, Bias is the only river that does not flow into Pakistan. Rest all these rivers flow into Pakistan. All right. So this was your Indus Water Treaty, and how many? plan projects are being developed by india now 10 hydro power projects to utilize the full water capacity that has indi that india has under the indus water treaty which was signed in the 1960 and the location where these plants are being set up is your himachal pradesh and jammu and kashmir moving on next next we are talking about our union environment minister bhupendra yadav has met uae that is united arab emirates climate envoy and minister of industry and advanced technology dr sultan ar jaber they to both discuss the issues related to the climate change and hosting of the cop 28 let's discuss what they are talking about bhupendra yadav we just saw he is the union minister of the ministry of environment forest and climate change and h e dr sultan Al Jaber the United Arab Emirates climate envoy and the minister of industry and advanced technology had a bilateral meeting at New Delhi location this is important why because the question will be direct and simple that where these two both met they met at New Delhi all right and prior to this a memorandum of understanding was also signed on climate action which was signed with the basic objective to establish a framework to establish and enhance bilateral confidence a uh, bilateral cooperation between these two countries that is your uae and india all right if we are talking about this mou under this mou remember both the sides have mutually agreed to explore the ways for strengthening bilateral cooperation in climate action this bilateral meeting had taken a note of the uae's bid to host cop 28 that is your cop 28 conference of parties this cop 28 will be held in the year 2023 so uae got uh, uae taken a bid that they want to host cop 28 in 2023 and they emphasize the need to prioritize the concerns of developing countries particularly in the area of implementation support including finance and technology all right also one more thing here uh the uae want to join the cdri the cdri or cdri stands for coalition for disaster resilience infrastructure i repeat cdri is your coalition for disaster resilience infrastructure and l e a d i t that is your leadership group for industry transition uae also wants to join these two groups and discussions were also made on here so all right this is everything you need to know who is the climate envoy and minister of industry and advanced technology of uae dr sultan al jaber he met bupendra yadav where he met bupendra yadav in new delhi and remember bupendra yadav is the only person who asked the united arab emirates to join the cdri and lead it that is your leadership group for industry transition they both met at new delhi and they discussed about the climate change and how they can impact the climate change and apart from this uae also wants to host cop 28 and where 
uh, when this cop 28 will be held conference of party will be 28 will be held in the year 2023 moving on ministry of ayush and department of biotechnology signed an mou for mutual collaboration on 25th of may the ministry of ayurveda that is your ayush what is the full form of ayush ayurveda yoga and neuropathy yunani siddha and homeopathy they have signed a memorandum of understanding with the department of biotechnology that comes under the ministry of science and technology to explore the possibility of cooperation convergence and synergy in bringing out expertise under one platform towards evidence based biotechnological interventions in the ayush sector so coming back who signed this mou with the department of biotechnology it was the ministry of ayush that signed a mou between the, uh, with the department of biotechnology all right next next remember we will be talking about our lok sabha speaker om birla has launched the second phase of suposhit ma abhiyan in kota rajasthan question will be direct and simple that suposhit ma abhiyan was launched by whom this was launched by lok sabha speaker om birla sir and this was the second phase of this suposhit ma abhiyan what is this suposhit ma abhiyan under this abhiyan 3000 women will be provided with the nutrition kit for 9 months all right i repeat under this suposhit ma abhiyan 3000 women will be provided with the nutrition kits for 9 months with the help of public support and monthly health check up where this suposhit ma abhiyan second phase of this will be started this will be started in kota rajasthan so three to four things that you need to remember who launched it it was uh, he was lok sabha speaker om birla sir it was the second phase of suposhit ma abhiyan then where was this launched this was launched in kota rajasthan and under this suposhit ma abhiyan second phase 3000 women will be provided with nutrition kits for a wash time for 9 month and also public health support as well as monthly health check up will also be done this scheme was first started by identifying 1000 women in kota bundi parliamentary constituency to overcome the nutritional deficiency among women moving on to the first question now what is the objective of lok milani program recently launched by punjab government what is the theme or you can say what is the main objective of the lok milani program that was recently launched by punjab government it is to provide a single window platform to help the people for redressal of their grievances i repeat punjab's chief minister bhagwant singh man has launched the first public outreach program that was lok milani this was started in chandigarh from may 16th of may the objective is to provide a single window platform to the people for redressal of their grievances all right next next we are talking about prime minister's visit to japan for quad leader summit the other way this question will be asked to you is that where was the quad leader summit took place where was it it was in japan where our prime minister recently visited apart from this if we are talking about quad which are the countries that are in quad they are australia india japan and the united states of america apart from this there is a bilateral uh, there is a exercise that is conducted by quad members that is malabar exercise the reason of this malabar exercise is to counter the presence of china in the indo pacific region all right apart from this there is also a military alliance that is named by the name aukus what is aukus australia plus uk plus united states of america so this stands for aukus this is also you should know this is also a trilateral exercise that is in in the indo pacific region so recently remember narendra modi paid visit to japan at the invitation of the japanese prime minister fumio kishida to participate in the fourth and the second per second in person quadrilateral leaders meeting remember this was the fourth edition of this meeting but in person meeting then all the persons met in person that was the second edition of it so if question asked which meeting was there of quad recently in japan remember it was the fourth edition of this meeting that took place in tokyo japan all right then remember 
द कोर ग्रुप वॉज इस्टेब्लिश शॉर्टली आफ्टर द इंडियन ओशन सुनामी ऑफ टू थाउजेंड फोर टू कॉर्डिनेट ह्यूमेनिटेरियन असिस्टेंस इट फेल इन टू ऑब्सक्योरिटी फॉर ओवर अ डिकेड अंटिल टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन वैन द क्वाड मेंबर्स डिसाइडेड टू स्टेप अप द ज्वाइंट मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज इन ऑर्डर टू काउंटर द प्रेजेंस ऑफ चाइना इन द इंडो पैसेफिक रीजन सो दिस इज एवरी थिंग यू नीड टू नो अबाउट क्वाड वेयर वॉज दिस क्वाड समिट हैड दैट वॉज द फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ दिस क्वाड समिट एंड सेकेंड इन पर्सन समिट दिस वॉज इन जापान ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई आर डी ए आई दैट इज योर इंश्योरेंस रेगुलेटरी एंड डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया हैज फॉर्मड वेरियस कमिटीज थ्रू द जनरल इंश्योरेंस काउंसिल दैट इज योर जी आई सी टू ओवर हॉल द इंश्योरेंस सेक्टर आई रिपीट recently irdi has set up committees through gic that is your journal insurance council to overhaul the insurance sector the committees formed through the gic will suggest reforms in the various areas of general reinsurance and life insurances i repeat irdi has set up committees through dash to overhaul insurance sector it is through gic these committees were set up after the new irdi chairman Devashish Panda held an interaction with the insurance industry players in April 2022. IRDI also decided to review areas like reducing the compliance burden for the industry, rationalizing investment norms and various others. If we talk about this committee and the panel, around 5 committees have been formed to suggest the changes in the general insurance and non-life insurance and two panels to explore the reinsurance segment. the members of these panels will include private and public sector insurance companies heads of these uh, i mean the member of these panel will include the head of the private and public sector insurance companies members of irdi and representatives from the gic the panel are established to explore the areas of regulations products distributions finance health finance taxes ease of doing business and various other factors all right if we look at one of the key point the representatives of the insurance industry were asked to highlight the issues that they face and suggest steps that they can be taken to remove the all the problems that they are facing all right some recommendation has also been submitted to the irdai moving on which of the following types of schools were included recently released in National Achievement Survey of 2021 I repeat which of the following types of schools were included recently that were released in National Achievement Survey of 2021 tell me NAS we did this question yesterday only so remember all the government schools all the private school all the government aided schools were included into this the department of school education and literacy has released this national achievement survey that is stated that in this particular achievement survey assessment of students of class 3rd 5th 8th and 10th were done in the country by conducting comprehensive assessment survey with a cycle duration of 3 years all right before this the last national achievement survey was conducted in the year 2017 all right whereas this national achievement survey of 2021 was conducted in the year november 2020 one across the india including various government schools and various private schools also around 34 lakh students were assessed in this coming from 1.8 lakh schools and this schools comes from around 720 districts of india and they are both from rural as well as urban areas so correct option here is all schools were included here 34 lakh around 34 lakh students assessment survey was done and this was your national assessment survey of 2021 and basically you need to remember the class of which this assessment was done that was of 3rd 5th 8th and 10th moving on nbfc northern arc capital has tied up with indian bank important pay attention mark this take a note that nbfc chairman that is uh, north arc capital limited has signed or has tied up with which bank it is your indian bank what is nbfc nbfc stands for non banking finance company all right this northern arc capital limited is a nbfc that serves the credit needs on of of 
अंडर सर्व हाउस होल्ड एंड बिजनेस आई रिपीट वॉट डज दिस नॉर्दर्न आर कैपिटल डू इट सर्व द क्रेडिट नीड्स इट सर्व द मनी नीड्स ऑफ द अंडर सर्व हाउस होल्ड एंड बिजनेस ऑल राइट एंड रिसेंटली दे हैव साइंड अ एम ओ यू और यू कैन से दे हैव टाइड अप विद विच बैंक दे हैव टाइड अप विद इंडियन बैंक नॉर्दर्न आर कैपिटल लिमिटेड आ एन बी एफ सी दैट सर्व द क्रेडिट नीड्स ऑफ अंडर सर्व हाउस होल्ड एंड बिजनेस हैज फॉर्म द स्ट्रेटेजिक अलायंस विद इंडियन बैंक दिस कोलेबोरेशन इंटेंस टू फैसिलिटेट द टू फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन इन कोलेबोरेटिंग कोऑपरेटिंग को लेंडिंग लोन्स एंड एक्सपेंडिंग देयर रिस्पेक्टिव मार्केट्स एंड कस्टमर बेसिस ऑल राइट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस पार्टनरशिप दिस अलाउज इंडियन बैंक टू एक्सेस द नॉर्दर्न आर्स कैपिटल एंड पॉज को लैंडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म to locate real tel loans credit underwriting scoring disbursement monitoring and reporting the npos this npos this is a platform of our capital northern our capital this npos platform also helps investors with periodic reporting and portfolio reconciliation it has so far enabled over 7.5 million dollar loans moving on Tata Capital. Tata Capital has recently launched a loan against the share facilities. Tata Capital Limited launched this scheme that is loan against shares (LAS) facility, an end-to-end -end integrated digital financing offer. Under this LAS, customers can avail a loan of up to five crore rupees by pledging their dematerialized shares online. facilitated by NSDL that is your National Security Depository Limited the loan amount is customized based on the value of shares in the portfolio of the customer all right so now if you are investing into the share market and you have a bunch of shares and you want to take loan for those from those particular shares then you can definitely approach Tata Capital because they have recently launched this loan against shares a scheme to provide loan to the people of up to 5 crore rupees against the share that they are holding in their portfolio next next we are talking about a agriculture startup fasal has tied up with imd imd is your india meteorological department for the research in the weather forecast models i repeat recently a agri startup that is your agriculture startup agri startup is basically you can consider it in such a way that agriculture the fintech you remember fintech fintech was finance and technology fintech so agri startup is related to agriculture plus technology so consider it like this agriculture and technology is your agri startup that is fasal by the name fasal that is a agri tech platform that was developed by volkus technology solutions limited so this fasal has tied up with which organization it has tied up with india meteorological department for the research in the weather forecast models all right fasal signed an mou or has tied up with imd that is your india meteorological department and reason why they both came together is to do the weather forecast models to make farming climate smart if a farmer will be aware of the climate of tomorrow's climate or a weeks ahead climate or a month later climate then he will be able to properly sow the seeds that he required for that particular weather this partnership aims to ensure the availability of day to day short term weather forecast for farmers also to provide these forecasts 23 radar stations of imd and around 600 on ground precision farming device of fasal will be used to give this forecast weather forecast all right as part as a part of this partnership fasal and imd will work on research around precipitation forecasting validation of weather forecasting models and dissemination of learning of farmers all right fasal if we talk about fasal as we say this is a agriculture plus technology so fasal is an artificial intelligence powered platform for the agriculture ecosystem that records a variety of growing conditions on farms and fasal has tied up with which organization to predict the weather forecast or to do research on the weather forecast it is your imd that is your india meteorological department moving on next next we are talking about gitanjali shree has won the international booker prize for the first hindi novel that is tomb of sand i repeat who has won the 
international booker prize question will be direct and simple so international booker prize has been won by gitanjali shri as you can see him in the uh, see her in the picture she has won the 2022 international booker prize for the book that is tomb of sand this is a hindi novel all right i repeat international booker prize for the first time for a hindi novel that was tomb of sand was won by whom gitanjali shri why this becomes important is because this is the for the first time that a hindi novel that is tomb of sand has won the international booker prize and the author of which is gitanjali shri this 2022 international booker prize for translated fiction was awarded to tomb of sand now the question can also be asked that tomb of sand was awarded under which category under translated fiction this tomb of sand was authored by gitanjali shri and that was translated by the dz rockwell the book was originally published in hindi as red samadhi in 2018 this award was presented by the book for booker prize foundation now the important thing you need to remember if the question is asked that the book tomb of sand that has won the international booker prize was written in hindi what is the name of that book that was written in hindi it is red samadhi and this book has been translated to english by dz rockwell all right and the winner of this book is gitanjali shri as she wrote it in hindi and the name of the book that was written in hindi was red samadhi and this book was published in 2018 and this was translated to english by dz rockwell this is the first book in any indian language to win the prestigious international booker prize and this is the first novel translated from hindi to win the award the recipients were awarded the prize money of british pound sterling of 50000 that is around 60000 63000 us dollar which will be split between the author and the translator in 1997 arundhati roy became the first indian to win the international booker prize for her novel that is the god of small things so the first indian who won the man booker this indian booker international booker prize was arundhati roy from year 1997 and for the book that is the god of small things so so many information so many questions from this topic who won the international booker prize for 2022 it is uh, the name of the book is tomb of sand who is the author gitanjali shri is the author for which and which is the first novel that has been awarded with the international booker prize from indian language that is that is tomb of sand which was earlier in in hindi that when it was written it was known as red samadhi that was written in 2018 and it was authored by whom gitanjali shri then this book has been translated into english by whom it was translated by the rezi rockwell and due to which they have fetched the international booker prize for the year 2022 question can also be asked that which is the first indian novel that was in written in english indian language that has awarded with the international booker prize that is your tomb of sand so so many question that you need to remember next next the question i am asking you is about national achievement survey only According to this National Achievement Survey of 2021, what percentage of school students in India commute to and from schools on foot? That means if they are at home, they want to go to school, they move or they travel from their home to school on by foot. What is the percentage of it? It is being asked you here. So according to that survey of National Achievement Survey, around 48 percent of the school students. across the country walk to school while 9% of them use school transportation according to this survey at least 25% of school lack schools face a lack of parental support in students learning also this also data you need to remember all right around 25% of schools face a lack of parental support in schools for students learning and 48% is the data of school students in india who commute to and from from schools on foot next next we are talking about grsc that is your garden reach shipbuilders engineers recently grsc has launched an indian naval survey vessel by the name ins nirdeshak i repeat 
INS Nirdeshak. This has been launched by whom? This is an Indian Navy survey vessel and it has been launched by whom? It was launched by GRSE that is Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers. All right. This was built by GRSC Engineers in collaboration with LNT. All right. Mark this also. And this was these uh, Indian Navy survey vessel. This has been developed for Indian Navy by two organization that is GRSE important is GRSE and it has collaborated with LNT engineers limited that is your LNT shipbuilders limited. All right. If we talk about it, this is the second of the four survey vessels. Nirdeshak was launched at Katupalli Chennai Tamil Nadu. The ship was built by Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers in collaboration with LNT Shipbuilding Limited. So where was this launch? It was launched in Chennai Tamil Nadu. It is being developed by GRSE along with LNT Shipbuilders Limited. And what is the name of this survey large vessel Indian Navy survey vessel that is Nirdeshak. Nirdeshak is the name of this large survey vessel and this is second among the four sur large survey vessels that are being the contract for building these four survey vessel ships was signed between the ministry of defense and grse in kolkata on 30th of october 2018 the first of the class ships sandhak was launched on 5 december 2021 at grse kolkata all right so sandhak was the first class ship that was of this SVL that is your survey vessels that was launched on 5th of December 2021 and this is the second survey vessel of the four survey vessels are that are being signed and this name is Nirdeshak. So first was Sandhak, second is Nirdeshak. Alright and this Nirdeshak was launched where? It was launched at Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Next question, which state has recently decided to adopt a bill to appoint the chief ministers as the vice chancellor of the universities in the state in place of the governor? Which is the state? Tell me important question. This is your West Bengal. West Bengal has recently decided to adopt the chief ministers as the vice chancellor of the universities in the state in the place of the governor. All right. So West Bengal state education minister. Pratya Basu said that the state cabinet has unanimously decided to appoint Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee as the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor of all the state-run universities on 26th of May. Next, Indian Navy has successfully tested the surface-to-air missile system from the warship. What is the name of this warship from which this surface-to-air missile system has been tested? Can you tell me the name of the warship? The name of this warship is... Indian naval ship Tej. All right, T E G Tej. So this fire test fire took place from the Talwar class Indian naval ship that is INS Tej. Indian Navy has successfully tested its ship based surface to air missile system by taking down a low flying target. The Indian Navy's guided missile anti marine stealth frigate successfully engaged a low flying target with its surface to air missile that is. <coughs> And the ship that was used here was INS Tej. All right, this tech, this test took place from the Talwar class Indian naval ship that is INS Tej. This is the important point you need to remember here. Apart from this, recently question can be asked that Indian Navy successfully tested a SAM. What is SAM? Surface to air missile system. Then what is a surface to air missile? A surface to air missile also known as a uh, ground to air missile this missile is designed in such a way that it is launched from the ground and it will hit any aerial target it will hit any aerial target this sam that is surface to air missile can be a long range surface to air missile and a medium range surface to air missile also all right so you should know that moving on next is money spider an ant mimicking spider has been discovered at viand wildlife sanctuary i repeat Monkey money spider, this is also known as ant mimicking spider, has been recently discovered at the Wyand Wildlife Century. Where is this Wyand Wildlife Century? This Wyand Wildlife Century is located in the state of Kerala. 
remember this also where was this money spider an ant mimicking spider was discovered it was discovered in the state of kerala and it was discovered in kerala at the wayand wildlife sanctuary the money spiders commonly found in the european meadows have been reported for the first time in the country from the muthunga range of the wayan wildlife sanctuary you need to remember this the name of this wildlife sanctuary and that this is from kerala money spiders also called as ant mimicking spider but well known to be believed to be bring luck to the person who comes in contact with it this spider belongs to the family of draft spiders all right remember it belongs to the family of draft spiders that is lini fide so coming back where was this money spider or ant mimicking spider was found discovered it was discovered at wayand wildlife sanctuary and this wayand wildlife sanctuary is located in the state of kerala next next we are talking about as you can see him in the picture he is very famous indian grandmaster r pragnanda recently chessable masters final ding lang seizes advantage against the indian gm that is grandmaster r pragnanda and he secured the second position who won this chessable masters final then it was won by ding lairin as you can see him in the here in the picture chessable masters has been winner won by ding lairin a prize of $25000 has been won by him along with $6250 in bonuses so coming back who has won the chessable masters it has been won by ding lairin and he defeated whom he defeated indian grandmaster r pranandha in the finals moving on in the australia's new prime minister anthony norman albanese belong to which political party what is the name of the political party from which the australia's new prime minister anthony norman albanese belong to the name of the party is dash tell me take your time but do answer so the correct option here is australian labor party after 9 years in opposition australian labor party that was led by anthony albanese is back in power all right i repeat he belongs to australian labor party moving on when do we observe africa day on 25th of may we observe africa day next what is the theme of africa day strengthening resilience in nutrition and food security on the african continent this is the theme of the africa day that is observed on which day it is observed on 25th of may i repeat on 25th of may we observe africa day and the theme is strengthening resilience in nutrition and food security on the african continent next this is an important one do pay attention and take a note rajasthan is the first state in the country to institutionalize the health accounts with the help of the world health organization which help in estimating the amount spent on the health sector and its impact i repeat rajasthan became the first state to create health accounts or first state in the country to institutionalize the health accounts with the help of which organization world health organization that will help in estimating the amount spent on the health sector and its impact if we look at some of the key information efforts are now made to create health accounts in rajasthan with sufficient capacity with the aid from the who rajasthan state government allocated more than 7% of the total budget of the health which is higher than the national average now the health account would aid to monitor and track the health expenditure which could act as an important tool in evidence based policy making because the health accounts would be easy to estimate the amount spent on health sector in on regular basis all right if we are talking for rajasthan to continue the success in the state or uh, in the in their state of health sector it is necessary to have a health account that can help the policy makers to monitor the health expenditures seamlessly which can lead to efficient resource allocation if we talk about rajasthan governor is kalraj mishra ji capital is jaipur and chief minister is ashok gehlot so if we revise it rajasthan became the first state in the country to institutionalize the health accounts with the help of world health organization next 
नेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सेला टनल प्रोजेक्ट रिसेंटली वेयर इज दिस सेला टनल प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज लोकेटेड इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश सेला टनल प्रोजेक्ट लोकेटेड इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश हैज एंटर अ डिसिव फेज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी कंप्लीटेड बाय द एंड ऑफ 2022. अपॉन कंप्लीशन द टनल अब ऑफ थर्टीन थाउजेंड फीट विल प्रोवाइड ऑल वेदर कनेक्टिविटी टू द लाइन ऑफ एक्चुअल कंट्रोल विद चाइना इट प्रोवाइड्स एन ऑल्टरनेट एक्सेस टू सेला पास एट थर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फीट नाउ एज वी नो दिस इज एन ऑल वेदर टनल सो रिमेंबर दिस सेला टनल प्रोजेक्ट इज लोकेटेड वेयर दिस इज लोकेटेड इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश पे अटेंशन डू मार्केट वॉट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ दिस सेला प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज लोकेटेड इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट हु एग्जीक्यूटेड दिस प्रोजेक्ट इट वॉज एग्जीक्यूटेड बाय बी आर ओ बी आर ओ ऑल्सो बिल्ड द वर्ल्ड हाइएस्ट टनल दैट वॉज एट शिंकुला शिंकुला पास दिस विल बी कनेक्टिंग हिमाचल प्रदेश टू लद्दाख All right. So, who developed this world's highest tunnel, BRO? And this Sela tunnel is also being developed by BRO. That is expected to be completed by the end of 2022. All right. So, friends, this is everything that you need to know about the today's current affairs. Now, let's revise them once again in one-liner format and see how good this one-liner format is for all of you. India plans 10 hydro power projects in Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh to utilize the water under the Indus Valley Treaty. Bhupendra Yadav and Sultan Al Zubair inks MOU on climate action. Ministry of Ayush and Department of Biotechnology signed an MOU for mutual collaboration. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla launched the second phase of the Suposhit Ma Abhiyan in Kota, Rajasthan that will be helping with providing food kits to the mothers. overview of indian prime minister narendra modi to visit to japan for quad leaders this question can be formed in such a way that where was the quad meeting had this quad meeting that is the fourth edition of the quad meeting and second in person quad meeting was held at japan then v murli dharan who is the minister of state for external affairs and parliamentary affairs visited united states of america this was a 8 day visit his to his visit to africa he addressed imrf that is international migration review forum 2022 then irdi has set up a committee set up various committees through the gic to overhaul the insurance sector nbfc northern arc capital has entered into a strategic partnership with the indian bank au small finance bank has introduced new services for the affluent segment very important i repeat au small finance bank has introduced new financial or new services for the affluent segment all right remember they introduced two new products those two products are au royal salary first was au royal salary and second was au royal business so these are the two new services for the affluent segment 10th is tata capital has launched loan against the shares facility if you are holding shares in your bank account in your portfolio then you can get a loan of up to 5 crore rupees Agritech uh, Agritech startup Fasal has tied up with IMD for the weather forecasts. Gitanjali Shri has won the International Booker Prize for the first Hindi novel Tomb of Sand. CIL will divest 25% of stake in BCCL plans to subsequent listing. INS Nirdeshak of Indian Navy survey vessel that was launched by GRSC I repeat IN this INS Nirdeshak is the second survey vessel of the indian navy that was launched by grsc and built by grsc indian navy has successfully tested the surface to air missile system from a warship and what is the name of the warship ins tej money spider that is also known by the name anti mimicking spider was discovered at the wyand wildlife sanctuary that is located at kerala see such a good way of revision next chessable masters final this chessable masters was won by whom ding lerin has won it and in the final he defeated indian grandmaster r pragnanda then africa day when do we observe africa day on 25th of may world health organization has aided rajasthan to create the health accounts highly important this also you need to remember then next is sela tunnel project this sela tunnel is being built by bro and where is this this is in arunachal pradesh and this is expected to be completed by the end of 2022 and this will be a all weather this will be connecting with line of actual control all right highly important 
सो दिस इज एवरीथिंग दिस वन लाइनर फॉर्मेट क्वेश्चन आर ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट दिस वन लाइनर नोट आर ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो यू हैव टू नोट एवरीथिंग एंड इफ यू आर नोटिंग दीज क्वेश्चन ऑन डे टू डे बेसिस दैट आई एम टीचिंग यू देन नाउ होमवर्क विल बी वेरी ईजी फॉर यू फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन विच स्टेट इंडिया फर्स्ट ग्रीन फील्ड ग्रेन बेस्ड इथेनॉल प्रोडक्शन प्लांट वॉज इनोग्रेटेड इन अप्रैल सेकेंड क्वेश्चन नेम द इंश्योरेंस कंपनी दैट रिसेंटली लॉन्च पे एज यू ड्राइव प्रोग्राम टू रिड्यूस द प्रीमियम कॉस्ट थर्ड क्वेश्चन हु वॉज रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज एन एक्स ऑफिशियो मेंबर ऑफ द मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कमिटी बाय द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया फोर्थ क्वेश्चन हु रिसेंटली वन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वर्ल्ड स्नूकर चैंपियनशिप दैट वॉज हेल्ड एट शेफील्ड इंग्लैंड एंड बिकेम द ओल्डेस्ट स्नूकर चैंपियन इन हिस्ट्री so friends these are all the questions these four questions are very helpful will be very helpful to you only if you comment below because if you won't comment below you won't be knowing the answer of these questions and if you want to know them if you want to remember these questions remember the answer of this question all you have to do is search on the google and then comment below or if you are making note if you have a habit a good habit of making note open your notes go through your notes once revise your notes and then you will be able to find all these answers in those particular notes so friends that's the end of our session i hope you have gained some interesting information today and this information will be very helpful for you in the upcoming exams so do like the video subscribe and also share the link of this video with your friends and if you want us to continue with such sessions all you have to do is comment below the value of your comment is very much thank you in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@theratofaffairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue